Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. So today's going to be a Dollar Tree haul. It's going to be my first time in a long time. I'm doing it on Monday. Um, if you have watched my Saturday night shopaholic haul, you'll know that I'm switching my shopping to Monday and I'm trying to maybe put some DIYs in it, but I'm on the fence about whether to mix the videos. So I might pick a different day for the DIYs. Um, but anyway guys, I am going to be doing my Halloween DIYs very, very soon. Maybe I will stick it in on Wednesdays, but you know, we'll see what happens, okay? So anyway guys, that being said, let's start off with the essentials. So I got some of these paper towels, my size, and they have um, 168 two-ply, okay? Pretty big, okay? And then these would def this is definitely essential. I needed this, so I grabbed that. And let's see what else. Okay, so I got some paper plates. They have all kinds of different sizes of paper plates, and I know these are the thin ones, but I figured for the sandwiches, this is fine. There's 40 in there, and I wanted to try to get the, you know, the most bang for my buck. Then I really, really needed these um, because these help me because they have caffeine in them. And again, whenever I talk about medicines, I'm not endorsing them. It's just that this works for me. The Tension Headache Relief, it's acetaminophen and it does have caffeine in it. But I've noticed lately that I haven't been able to find these. And I'm starting to wonder if they're going to like, you know, wean them off the shelves. I don't know. But, um, but I did find these in the back of um, some other similar color. I forget what the other ones are called, but the dates are uh, 12, 23, so it makes me wonder whether or not they are going to not put these back. I don't know, but anyway, I grabbed them while I could because they helped me. And then I definitely needed one of these for my kitchen sink. I did try the stopper one, but I, I decided I don't like the stopper one, and this is perfect for the tub, so it will catch the hairs. You know, if you got like long hair or anything, you know, that, that, that'll that catch anything. And then when my granddaughters were over the other day, I noticed I only had two forks, okay? I don't know what I did with all my forks, but anyway. So I grabbed this. It was a three-pack just for now because I want to get the gold um, utensils. And I know that they sell them at Walmart. I just keep forgetting to look when I go to Walmart, but I do want to get some gold, um, you know, utensils. But I grabbed these for now. And then I grab some of the spoons. I'm trying to get, you know, the best bang for the buck. And I really use a lot of spoons for, like, you know, the applesauce that I get at the Dollar Tree or pudding or whatever. So I grab some of these. And then I was really surprised to see this because I hadn't seen this at Dollar Tree. And if it was ever there, I never found it. So I got sage. And then I got the Italian seasoning and the tomato basil seasoning because you know how expensive those seasonings are my god they're like so expensive in the regular supermarkets and speaking of expensive these can be pretty expensive in the supermarkets too um so i always try to grab these when i can um and you know try to stock up on them and then trying to you know get the most bang for my buck um I decided to get the brown rice this time because this is actually a pretty good sized bag. It's two pounds. They had a small bag there, half the size of this white rice. But I do have white rice. I so said, let me try the brown rice, you know, because that's going to that's gonna go a long way. And then I saw this, um, you know, pot mitt there, okay? Now, when I very first saw these, I didn't know they said Hello Pumpkin on the other side of them. Because they were all facing this way, so I didn't even bother, you know, getting them. But then I saw somebody, I don't remember who, hauling them, and it said, Hello, Pumpkin. I'm like, oh, so let me, you know, let me think, you know, try to remember when I go back in there. And I did remember, and they were, again, once again backwards, and I turned them around, and there was one of them that said, Hello, Pumpkin. So I don't think it's going to be really usable. I just, well, maybe, I guess you could if it wasn't anything too, too hot. Because it doesn't have like that, you know, that barrier in it. But how cute is that just to put in the kitchen? Just how adorable is that, right? And then last but not least on the Dollar Tree part of this haul. Because I do have one thing that I want to show you from Saves. I think it's just one thing. I found these. Okay, guys. The Essentials Arm & Hammer Disinfecting Wipes. There's 80 in here. It's called Renewing Rain. 
and there was a box on the floor and I'm like what is that right and then I'm looking and I'm like oh is that soap powder and then I remembered that I saw people hauling something like this and they are the disinfectant wipes and that's how they look inside and let me see hold on just want to smell it it says it's citrus based disinfection and yeah I do smell a little bit of a, a citrus smell in there so anyway guys I did get these I got two of them I guess that's how they come there's no peel off thing on the inside of them they're huge okay they're huge uh, but anyway guys that is it for the Dollar Tree haul and I want to show you something really really cute that I got at Savers okay so here is the final thing I want to show you guys and it is a pink Christmas tree it's from Savers I'm gonna give you a full shot of it in a minute but it was $2.49 minus 20% so it was like $2.11. And you can tell it was supposed to be for Christmas because it, the way it has that band around it, like Santa Claus. But I want to, you know, kind of uh, go back a little bit. It's not really, like, spread out with the branches the way I would like it to be. But I don't have to make this only um, a Christmas tree. I can turn it around and I can make it an Easter tree. I don't have to have that buckle showing. You know, I can, like, turn it around and be like a black stripe. I don't even have to have that black stripe. I can wrap that up with something. And I can also make this a Halloween tree because, you know, it's becoming very, very popular to do pink for Halloween. As a matter of fact, when I do my DIYs, which hopefully will be this week coming up, for Halloween, there's going to be a lot of pink theme in this um, Halloween um, DIY. So basically, in case I didn't say that right, it's like a Halloween themed DIY, a lot of pink stuff, pink um, DIY stuff. So how adorable is that tree though, right? And for that price, and again, I can wrap the bottom of it with something. And I could probably even pull those little balls off if I wanted to. I think I probably could. But um, anyway, guys, how adorable is that tree? I couldn't help but show it to you. Savers has like such really, really cute things for different holidays. And they usually put it right in the front if the holiday's coming up. Right now they have a lot of Halloween stuff right in the front when you come in. Uh, like Halloween and Thanksgiving, but the next aisle over is Christmas. So anyway, just keep your eye out at Savers because they have a lot of really, really cute things for really cheap money. So anyway, thanks again guys for coming along. I'm going to be starting to do my, um, you know, my hauls on Monday. They kind of be, they're going to be my shopaholic hauls. They're not going to be always Dollar Tree hauls. They're either going to be a combination of hauls or maybe they will be just a Dollar Tree haul sometime. But they're not going to only be Dollar Tree hauls on Monday. It's basically just going to be like a shopaholic haul on Monday. But I haven't decided what I'm going to call it. But it, you know, it'll be on the lines of like a shopaholic theme. So anyway, guys, thanks again. I hope you all, all I can't even talk tonight. I hope you're all having a wonderful night and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.